Hey folks, hope you're having a good afternoon. Today we're going to be playing Ixion. Let's get started. Uh, so today is supposed to be my Cosmo tier day, but I really just wanted to play Ixion. And I left the game open overnight and I looked at it this morning and I was like, I want to build things. So we're going to build things today. If you're watching this on YouTube, it probably is not going to have a big impact on your viewing schedule. Okay, let's see. So we are in the midst of building new apartment buildings for all three of our sectors here. We've got this one in progress currently. Um, I noticed that there's some opportunities for us to free up space here in this sector. We can remove the farms that are over here and maybe the one over here. We could probably put some housing units up here and then we might be able to get in another factory in this zone over here. I think that's going to be something we're going to look to do. We also need to get some ice coming in, I noticed. We ran out of ice here just about. We got nine units left that are in the uh, fusion thing already. We just got the cell housing technology unlocked. So we're gonna wanna look, we've only got 18 science so we can't do anything yet. We're gonna save up um, and try to get that done. We have a couple of homelessness notifications owing to our remodeling project here. Those should go away when this is done. And then over here, what do we have for going on for housing over here? We have these two buildings. We don't have any housing under construction here, so let's take a minute and figure out what our housing situation over here is going to be like. Does we already have all these things converted into larger apartment buildings? We could theoretically get rid of these storages we're not using. I'd prefer not to do that. And I want to try to save space up here for another of these uh, crop areas. So I'm trying to think what we can do without... Maybe we stop sending people to Sector 6 for now. It's only, we're only at a population of 208 though. I think we're going to need to have a lot more space is the thing. I think we're going to delete our second workspace and use that space for more housing. That, I think that's the way to go. Okay, so we got a little bit of extra space here that's kind of awkward and efficient, but um, I guess that's okay. That should solve our housing crisis in here. Let's look at our fleet. So we've got the rat still tied up at the site of the Protagoras. We've got the Erlenmeyer, which... Does that exist? It says it's located on the... Oh, let's check our docking bays real quick. The Erlenmeyer says it's located on the Tycoon. It's not listed here as a ship that we can assign, so I think that's just a bug. The Erlenmeyer's gone. But we're working on external construction right now for the... Are we? I think we are, right? Oh, we finished this already. I thought it said external construction here. Oh, that's just a button to go start an external construction. Never mind. Okay. So I think we need to get some more cargo ships and mining ships available here. I want to make sure we get all the mining ships moved over to this sector and all the cargo ships are in the other sector. But I think we're going to want one in this sector for ice. And I think this is a pretty good location for it. So let's make sure that these are all cargo ships first of all. We've got three cargo ships here. I'm going to go ahead and create another cargo ship here. So this is going to be an ice ship. Okay, we've got the new apartment building coming up. We should probably let's look at our housing situation in sector two here. 352 over 358, but we still got a little bit of room to grow our housing areas. We may want to put housing up there if it'll fit. I don't know if it will though. We definitely want to put housing here. This is still under construction, that's fine. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about moving this probe launcher out. I don't want to do that yet. I want to try to avoid that for now if we can, but eventually I think we're going to want to move it. Uh, let's look at our worker situation here. We got 
11 workers free, so we can activate our probe launcher, build another probe. And we're going to want to retire all these farms and then start another crop area over here. But I don't want to go too crazy with that yet because we're low on ice. We need to get that situation sorted first. I think as soon as this cargo ship, the cornucopia, is online, there we go. We can just finish. Or maybe not. There it goes. Okay, it's building now. I don't know what the last ship is going to be yet. Yeah, it could be another cargo ship. Let's take a look at our fleet. So who's going to be our ice carrier? I think we want the Wallow to be our preferred ice carrier. Let's do it like this. So he's going to he's going to start grabbing ice. Eventually that new ship, once we get it, is going to take over. I think Wallow is actually currently engaged in transporting the stuff over to the... No, maybe not. Let's say I thought he was involved in the quest, but I don't think we're actually doing the next leg of the quest yet. Yeah, we got iron coming in. That's good. Now, it's no big deal if we have a dip in food production right now because we have... Um, we have uh, way more food production than we actually need. Uh, but at some point, we're going to have to worry about that. I think this food is going out, not coming in, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think. Yeah, okay, the ship's loading up, loading itself up with food to go service the derelict, I think. Okay, this is finished construction here. Alright, so now I'm gonna have the Wallow prioritize iron again. And then the Cornucopia is going to be our ice ship. And then we'll put steel as secondary. And then... Do we have a carbon storage in the main section? I don't think we do. No. But I think we have a silicon storage here either. No. Okay, so it'll gather more people, more cryopods if it runs out of ice together, which I don't foresee being an issue. C43, so we got almost but quite an, not quite enough workers to bring our polymer refinery back online. I think we, we could either we could also bring the electronics factory, but that's 30 people. I think we want the polymer refinery first. What's our housing situation like here now in two? Okay, we got room for like 30 more people. That's how many people does this house? 125. This is half as many, but it's a more comfortable accommodation, which I think is important because we stability is key here. Okay. So we'll get that. We're going to go ahead and delete this farm. It'll also free up more workers that we can use in the factories now. Uh, yeah, so we got more than 20 workers, so we can get the polymer refinery back. Oops. There we go. Has occurred in the Sigh. Room. Okay, do we have a medical situation? A 9 out of 20 crew hospitalized, that's not bad. Okay, we got that deleted. I don't suppose we can put a hive there, can we? No. It's interesting it's got like spotlights or something on the front, it seems like. I should put two houses here, that's not too shabby.
Like, if I put them closer to the grid, I don't think it makes much difference. We could, we do it like this. I could probably cut out a little bit of road here and then put something in there, like a three by three. It could be a power cell. I think that'd be a good place for it. That's going to give us way more crew. So as soon as one of those things is done, we are going to demolish one of these guys. Uh, we could do that now, I think, actually. Oh, is a minus 26 balance right now because of the airlock. That's okay. That's the accident notice. Okay, we also need to work on, in this sector, reorganizing things as well. Because we want to get another space dock, or um, actually another EVA airlock is what I mean to say, over here in this corner. So we're going to want to demolish some of these farms. Um, all these things are registering as power now. I don't know why they are now and they weren't before. That's puzzling. Might be because they were built in the middle of a harvest cycle or something. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and demolish this guy. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to demolish this, we're going to demolish one of these, and then we're going to move, like, the batteries up here, and we'll put another housing unit where one of these other things is, and then we'll leave that slot open for another housing unit if we need it. Um, let's see where our new people are going. Everything, everybody's going to Sector 6. Um, we got almost 100 housing free, so that's fine. I think it was like 70. Okay, I think we're good on carbon for right now, so we're not using that much. Let's see if we can get some more. Sector 6 is where the cool kids are hanging out, that's right. Hey Zunlu, how's it going? Isn't that what they say? Get your kicks in Sector 6? Okay. Um. Either of these guys is. Okay, oh, this. None of these guys are set to prioritize carbon, so I'm not why, I'm not sure why they're harvesting carbon right now. Maybe they got all of the cryopods already. Okay, so as soon as that's done, this is gonna go away. I'm gonna go ahead and start that. I noticed that this colony building is not actually a space building, so we might look to move that to Sector 6. But I'm thinking more likely we're going to want to move it after we open up uh, a fourth sector here. I don't know what the specialization of the fourth sector is going to be yet. It could be like a housing sector for non-workers non or something like that. That might be worth it. I don't feel like we have enough specializations to fill another sector, because it's really we got like... And we got industrial, we got agriculture, we got space, and then I don't know what other categories of things there are. But we, we probably need more agriculture is what it's going to end up being, because we're going to get more and more people as the game goes on. We're about to pick up a whole other batch of people after our population just passed a thousand recently. That's pretty cool. Building? Oh shoot, we don't have an ice stockpile in this sector. Um, we need to get that fixed. This can be our ice stockpile because we already got an alloy stockpile here. There we go. Perfect. Now we can actually start shipping ice to this other sector here. Fourth sector will be soybean and lentil farms. Sounds good. I like that plan. And our science is proceeding quickly. That's good. Looking at our alloy production to see if we're catching up. I'm not entirely sure that we are. I think we're not quite meeting our iron demand, but that should be fixed soon now that we have the cargo ships rearranged. Okay. Got less than 10 workers available in this sector. I'm going to shut down one of these farms. 
I guess we could leave them for now, actually, because we don't have anything that I have to build here right now. But I think soon we're going to want another smelter, maybe. But we'll leave the one farm here until we have something better to do with the space. Which we probably will soon-ish. Ever find out if you deconstruct an airlock if the ship assigned it to it moves to another? Um, so what actually happens is, I think, is they end up in limbo. So there's like a... I think the Erlenmeyer is just gone. I think that's just a bug in the game. But I, no I did notice there was a, a quest that we did earlier that gave us a cargo ship. Um, and that cargo ship just kind of floated around in null space until we built another airlock. And then we were able to assign an existing ship to the new airlock. Um getting what to do with these two insect farms. I think I want to demolish these two and then one of these and get another farm here, but I also think I might want another... I guess if I build another EVA airlock, it's going to be over here, not over there, probably. So I think that's okay. Still waiting for this to be destroyed. Why? Should be able to empty this out, shouldn't we? The link's not powered. We need to collect two units of food. I don't see why that would be an issue. It seems like there's an available food thing here. Might be that the uh, transporters for this stockpile are just busy. Oh, we also have another space here that could be a housing unit. Uh, I forgot about that. Let's build that out. Could have we wanted to build a road through the middle of here, but I don't think it's really necessary. So that housing unit would enable us to delete these two guys here, I think. Um, so I'm monitoring the housing situation in Sector 6. We're okay so far still. I'm trying to think what we... I think we're just chilling for a minute here, waiting for some of these constructions to get done. We did demolish this. Sector 2. We've got over 520 housing. Sector 1 here, we actually have almost 600 housing, but we're demolishing some of this stuff, I think. We only need 500 housing per sector for now. I think we kind of have an, a logistics bottleneck of our alloy going on here. We just don't have enough storages to transport everything. Um, we do have two active alloy storages over in this sector. I think we're going to turn on... Let's turn on another food storage over here. Yeah, we probably want another ice storage as well, if we can afford it. If we can, yeah. And let's go with... There's another ice storage here. Here we go. We can bring on lots of ice now. Uh, we need silicon, I think. We don't have enough people to operate the machine yet. I think some of this is going to end up being more housing, maybe? Let's see. Thinking, what do we need to build right now? Sector 2, we got more than 500 housing, so we can actually demolish this. We should be bringing more people into Sector 2 now that we have the housing. Because I want to get this um, 
electronics factory back online soonish. Apparently we have no silicon, but we'll fix that as well. Okay, so we could get a cargo ship here that gets silicon. The problem is we have no silicon storage in this sector, and we're trying to delete things to make room for other things. So that probably doesn't make sense for us to build one right now. Let's delete this farm. And then we're going to move these two power nodes up here. Not sure what we're going to do about this food node that might end up being up here. Uh, let's see. I think these settings are okay. And our alloy star is just finally recovering after a long last. Intermittent homelessness in sector six. Maybe we have too much food production, so let's start. No, we can we can just demolish the stuff that's over here that's in our way, right? We don't need to. We're still waiting for this to be deleted. Wondering if we need to build another food storage temporarily. I think we need to shut off some of our farms, probably. You know what? Actually, let's prefer let's preferentially use the insect farms and let's shut off one of these guys for now. So we know that we have the capacity to produce all these crops. We don't need to produce them all right now. We actually want to eat up a little bit of food. So I'm going to turn this off for a little while and use up some of our storage so we have room to move things around. We need to get rid of these farms. So this is like kind of like future preparation for people that we haven't got on board yet, but we're going to bring on board soon. So we might as well not use up more ice than we have to while we're to be met. Can everybody in the station? Can everybody on the station all fat and sassy? That's right. They might give. They might start giving a slip. Can't believe this thing will not empty. Go away. Insect farm. I adjure thee. Okay. Let's see. They put a storage over here temporarily to ease the too much food crisis. Eventually, we'll need all that food for sure. Okay, here we have the sector. I'm gonna delete this farm. Okay, so what I'm wondering about now, the question is at what point do I want to move the ship and connect up with the Protagoras? I think we could probably maybe afford to wait till we finish processing this stockpile of 60 people or whatever. Although we don't necessarily have to do that. But we have like 500 people still to bring on board in cryostasis, just from the... Um, other was it was that the from the Pythagoras or is that somewhere else? I don't remember. Let's check that out real quick actually. So where's our Yeah, okay, so we're bringing up we're bringing five hundred people on board from the Pythagoras still. I'm a little concerned about what's gonna happen when we connect this our ship to the Pythagoras. I have no idea. And it it's a... Uh, Making me a little nervous, the prospect of doing that. Hope we don't have we ha don't hope we don't have like an AI duel or something. They seem to be cooperating with us so far. Uh, okay, so let's get batteries up here. We don't really have a need to have battery charge available at this very moment, so we can go ahead and dismantle these and immediately use the alloy to build the new batteries. As long as you don't hear any banjo duels between the AIs, right? And I'm going to delete this farm as well. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. 
docking bay is then disabled. Ten crew members were injured. That's kind of rude, but um, I guess it's okay. There's another farm over here too that we can eliminate if we need more storage in the main sector, which I think we might soon. How's our plastic supply doing? We're only up to seven. Oh, let's, um, I was going to send another probe, I kind of forgot. Let's look at uh, what we got in our area here. We got more ice available. I'd like to know if we have more iron available in our area. Or an area of the Protagoras. Arvin. I was doing damaging the demerits, right? I wish I could give out demerits. Got a little iron available over here. Somewhere. There we go. Stockpile disabled in Sector 2 to an accident. Five crew members were injured. I think about so many demerits. Uh, we're going to stop taking carbon on because I don't think we really need it. I think we need steel and ice and stuff like that more. We need to s slow down our alloy production. I think we do that, yeah. Let's turn off our alloy production a little bit so that this can get done. Yeah, we're getting new batteries built. I don't know why these aren't getting demolished, though. storage in the sector. I really don't want to put another alloy storage here. I think we're going to convert this existing food storage to alloy storage as soon as we're able to move those food units. Okay, we see some of the alloy finally starting to come off of here. I think I want to... Yeah, we want to reduce our food supply, so we're going to continue with this construction here. My problem is this also produces more alloy. If we run out of ice, we're going to have to scramble to retool everything, which I'm a little concerned about. We're going to keep some insect farms just because. So we'll probably, but we'll probably just have like the three of them here and then make the rest be crops. Because they're just so much, so much more efficient producing large quantities of food. I feel like there, there must be a more... Um, more efficient crop layout than this, but I don't know what it is. I don't really understand the rules of how to lay them out properly, I feel like. Okay, but we've got plenty of ice now. So we have the option to turn those crops back on whenever. Oh, we got workers here now. We could start producing silicon again. Good. We don't have any silicon mined, though. Let's have somebody dedicated to silicon. 
think we still need people. Let's have the Groover be our silicon miner. A probe has completed its scan. That's good. Some more iron available. Not too much, but a little bit. I've got some more iron over here near the sun, too. I wonder if it just appears in the sector over time, or if I just missed those things before because they were smaller deposits. I don't know. What am I building in this sector? Anything? I don't think so right now. I think we cleared, cleared, completed our objective, which was to clear this. And we got our new housing built. Veger has completed its scan. Surprise Pikachu face. He said, when you put Veger, I, uh, um, my first thought was it's Vigar from League of Legends. Don't have, don't know too much about Pokemon, actually. No, then I will show you no mercy. Okay, uh, let's see. What was I going to build in this? Oh, I need to move these storages. So let's go ahead and... I can actually put them here and still leave that farm if I want to. I think we'll do that, why not? It'll also help use up alloy, which will, again, make it easier for us to move stuff. Let's um, check our alloy distribution here. Sector 6, we don't need to have alloy maxed, I think. I think that's what's causing some of our bottleneck. Let's build it. Veger is from the original OG Star Trek movie. Oh, okay. I don't remember. I remember Wrath of Khan pretty well, and I remember uh, Star Trek 4. I don't remember a lot of the other ones. Oh, we're at 30 science. Can we do anything with our 30 science? I think we can... No, we need 60 for the Legislative Center. So that'll be our next upgrade at 60. Let's, um... Can we bring this online? I think we can, yeah. Got a lot of people in this sector, workers that are not working because of the... Um, because of the crop shutdown. Not for the fact that we needed storage space, I would probably turn this back on again at this point. We don't necessarily need to do that right away, though. We just got to keep an eye on our food total. Make sure we're ready to turn it back on when we need it. It does take a while for the crops to get produced. They don't get produced in one cycle, so we got to keep that in mind. But I think we could go down to like 200 food and be fine still. Um, thinking about the alloy storage in sector 2 here, that's fine, I think. Actually, we could bring that up to 200 since it has the room. So I'll homeless this real quick in sector 2 and then it disappeared immediately. So waiting on that silicon. A probe has completed its Okay, so we are waiting for this to get done. Let's prioritize one of these so it'll get done sometime today. These guys just have to wind their way all the way around there. Such a convoluted route. Oh, we need to... Um, Roads here. These aren't going to get built unless we build the road. Uh, let's take a look at the probe scan. 
I think it's just minerals, right? Yeah. One thing that I'm not sure about is whether we should try to go after this stuff here. I have this marked as a void because it's on the other side of there, but if we could get a science ship over to Chewy, that would be good. Our science ships are protected against the electrical storm now, so it might be worthwhile for us to send something there, but I think we have to deal with this Protagoras business first of the, in order to free up our science ship. An accident has occurred. Sorry. It's going to be a food stockpile, right? No, it's a nice stockpile. Okay, we can live with that. There's also a structure that we can build that's like a fire department, I think. I thought there was a fire department. At some point we could think about getting a waste treatment center. Okay, I guess there's no fire department. I thought that was something that we researched. Maybe it's not an actual buildable thing. Uh, where was that? Fire station, there. it's there. Dispatches trucks to put out fires. It doesn't seem that we have the option to make one. Oh, there it is, it's under maintenance. I don't know what actually causes fires, like why we would need that. I'm hoping we don't find out too soon. So we don't have any fire stations currently. We could put one in the industrial sector. I think that would be a good idea, honestly. But it's also like wasted capacity that we could be using for other things. I think I'm going to plunk one down for now, just in case, because if there's one place that I don't want to have a fire, it's the industrial sector. I'm assuming it only services the current sector that it's in, but I'm not sure that's a correct assumption. I still have no silicon. Are we getting silicon finally? Yes, okay, here comes the silicon, good. Okay, so here we got our... These guys online. We need to demolish this food store. And we got our electronic stockpile online and we're demolishing this one. There we go. Yeah, once we get to that, we're going to have to rearrange our roads a little bit here. See how much space the new EVA dock is going to take up. It's up to there. Okay, that's good. Hopefully it doesn't block this road. I don't think it will, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we can have the, the route around here and then go through the middle. as well start building the new road so we can get the EVA airlock done sooner. So I think once we get the new airlock built, that would be a good milestone for us to go and connect with the other ship. We got plenty of harvesting and stuff to do in this sector, but I'm a little worried about how the this big solar wake, whatever this is, is going to impact the tycoon. It might cause us to need to spend more on repairs. We're actually way overproducing alloy, or up to 800, even though we have only two of our three smelters running. So we could delete this if we really wanted to, seemingly, for now. But we are also demolishing a lot of buildings. That might be a factor. Might have a temporary artificial increase in our alloy. I think at some point we're going to want to also build more batteries. I don't think we have enough, especially for the industrial sector.
sending a work instant message real quick. I don't think this is something I'm going to have to stop the stream for, but I just want to see what this guy wants. It's answering a access request that I put in. It seemed like he has a question or something for me. Almost got the fire station done. Okay, I guess we got a fire station now. Fire truck repairing. Asks a waiting order. Whatever it has to like build a fire truck, I don't know. I wonder if I should have put this in sector one because it's more centrally located. Not entirely sure. So as soon as this stupid thing gets out of the way, actually, let's build a road across here. And we don't have to wait for this thing anymore to demolish this road here. I think we're still going to have to wait for this before we can get the... Um... We maxed out our food supply somehow, even though we're only producing half of what our crew, of what our ship eats. I don't know how that happened. Are we bringing food on board from somewhere else? I think we should be. Okay, this is doing like, maybe it was higher than that before. It did drop below 300, which we were looking to get it down to 200. Actually dropping quite rapidly. I guess this is like the current eating cycle. I think we're gonna wanna bring this back online. Yeah, we've got more than enough people. Look how many extra workers we have in this sector. Current average production. This is based on the average production. So it's... Um, it's over the last couple cycles. So we got to be a little bit mindful of that. We should have enough food to at least last the next uh, couple cycles or whatever. We're using up 25 food per uh, five cycles, or in each of these sectors, just about. I guess it's like 30. Yeah, so 500 people is like 30 even, it looks like. I wonder if we should rebuild one of our insect farms in case we have to pick up the slack. I think we're okay. This is purging waste right now, so it's going to be a little bit before it produces. Um, we're still waiting for this to empty, so I think it's okay that we're... A little bit low on food right now. Okay, perfect. There we go, finally. Okay, we got that. As soon as this is connected, because I missed a spot here, then we can delete this road and then we'll put in the new facility. Okay, here comes our new EVA airlock. Okay. Unfortunately, it does overlap this road, but it's not really the end of the world. Um, create some pathing inefficiencies. I think what we're actually going to do... Let's actually delete the road through the middle of that, and then we're going to move one of these buildings down a little bit. So that the road can go up through here. I think that'll be okay. Um, delete this. Might have some issues with housing in sector one for a while. 
I think we'll be alright. We got a little bit of room to spare. We're almost up to 500 people in Sector 2. We gotta watch our people production. I wanna slow it down a little. Let's slow it down to one. So I think we're starting to get to the point where we're producing more people than we know what to do with. But we do have to produce all of them eventually. Um. An iron here that's not being used. Let's have the cargo ship in sector one that's bringing iron bring ice instead. And people. Actually, let's have it bring people with ice as secondary. Because we've got this thing to fill up here. But we can also. Okay, so we got a silicon miner, we got an iron miner. Not sure what this guy should be mining. I don't want to mine any ice because there's no ice storage in sector two. I guess we could bring him back to do a little more carbon. No ice, right? No ice. We're, doing, we're actually full on iron. Maybe we need to slow down our... Yeah, we're just overproducing the alloy right now. Um... I wonder if we need to just stop some of our cargo ships for a little while until our resources kind of rebalance. Uh, I think we're going to do that, yeah. Oh, we could actually have multiple guys go get silicon. That would be the way to go, probably. Instead of just having them do nothing. There we go. We are using up the silicon just about as fast as we're bringing it in. Actually, we're almost out of carbon, too. There we go. Alright, let me see what this guy... Uh, I guess I leave this running on slow. Okay, we got this. I think I demolished the wrong building here. Did I? No, I didn't. Oops. Got sidetracked by the work stuff. Here we go. Oh, there's actually a whole other row here. Hold on. I didn't realize there was a road cutting through there. Or room for a road. Happy New Year, Administrator. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so fun that they have that little thing in there. It's every year that they, every year they just give you a little serenade. So we have so much alloy income right now that I think we could afford to... Yeah, we got so much iron available. We could afford to move, start moving the ship now, I think. Uh, we just have to figure out the power situation. Let's see how long it would actually take us to move there. Four and a half cycles, okay. That's quite a bit. Okay, so none of our sectors have enough uh, power for that right now. Let's get our new EVA airlock figured out first. Okay. 
Here we go. Just planning for the future here. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Stockpile has been disabled in Sector 1. I think once we get this one online, we might shut off this other one temporarily. Until we actually need the uh, repairs to keep up. Which we probably will once we move the Tycoon. Okay, so I think we're going to put some batteries. Let's start putting batteries here. Take a while for them to charge. We gotta keep that in mind too. I'm trying to figure out if there's any other thing we can delete here to make more room for battery. Uh, we could actually, we don't technically need this road in the middle here. We could actually do like this. Or we, could do, we actually just couldn't. There's another battery slot. of life sim disabled in sector two. <laughs> Guys, being roughhousing on the basketball court again. Don't do that. Uh, populations. I think we're almost ready to open a fourth sector, honestly. We're getting to that point. We need more housing in sector six. Not sure where that's going to end up going. Uh, we're still only at 36 research. We could put some of the housing up here, I think. Do you want to do like one of these? I think this is going to be a mistake. I kind of want to try it though, just to see. It doesn't take up much space at all. That's kind of nice. Let's put some apartments here for now. We'll see if we need that. That's a possibility, though. I think we're going to end up deleting this farm here. How's our food supply doing, by the way? 99% of meal requirements. Okay, that's right about where we want to be right now. So I could delete this guy, I think. Let's wait till we get a little more... We don't have any disabled farms. We've got to get, we got to get another crop thing online, I think. You could also think about a fungus farm. I don't know that we... You know, I guess this is more efficient than a... than a crop farm in the sense that it doesn't use up our ice resources. So maybe we do want to start investing in these. How much are they? 90 and one electronics component. That's not terrible. Let's go ahead and throw out down a fungus farm there. Actually, we probably... I don't know if we want that here. We might want that in the industrial sector instead, but we'll put it here for now. I think we're gonna get our alloy production back online again. What if people we do? But we gotta think about expanding our power again soon. I think once we get this built, then we'll be good to do that. Do not have a road there. We do have a road coming up the front of this. I think. Oh, we don't. No, it doesn't go quite there where it needs to be. I think we could get rid of a little bit of road here and get another alloy storage in here for this airlock. I think that'd be a good idea.
So sector one is four cycles. Sector six is only two cycles. Maybe that we put some batteries in sector six. Gonna put one here. I think that should be plenty. I don't think this sector is using a ton of power. Although this thing probably uses a good deal. 10 power. It's not the worst. Okay, this is in progress. Good. So as soon as this gets done, we're going to build another solar panel extension, I think. That's going to take plastic. I think we got a good plastic income at this point. Oh, we're out of carbon, though. Uh, we do have somebody fetching carbon now. That's fine. I think we can start putting more people in Sector 6 again. Hopefully this will be carbon. Farms coming online. Okay, we got our crops coming in, that's good. Let's check our food distribution. I just want to make sure we're doing something efficiently here. We need to make sure that we have at least 50 in each sector, I think. Let's say 60. I think we can afford to have a little more in sector 1 and 2. There we go. Give us a little more room for production. Okay, we did have some carbon come in. That's good. And... Iron. I think that's okay. Let's lower our iron storage in sector one a little bit. Batteries are coming online. Almost got our next airlock. So sector one has four cycles. We could always shut down some systems, I think, that could serve power. But I'd rather get the extra charge available to us, I think. Um, this might be a place where we could put another battery. Let's do that. Turn on that caused the power outage. Overloaded. An accident. Fire station we can turn off. Power restored. Well, that was alarming. Lost a little bit of crew trust, but it's trending upward at four percent per cycle, so that's not really that big a deal. And we had a stockpile breakdown because of the outage. And apparently they haven't invented surge protectors. 
in space in the space feature. Uh, oh, that's an ice stockpile. Okay. This is charging sector one. We can build one more battery here at least. Starting to run a little low on alloy. This is actually, I'm gonna turn this off and rely on this airlock instead because I think it's gonna get an efficiency bonus from the Uh, plus 50 from active EVA airlocks to at 52% efficiency. I think we can actually take it down to one airlock, maybe. I don't know. In order to just save up some alloy. I think let's do that. Actually, we need to do some external construction. I don't know if that's sped up by having multiple airlocks. Okay, so external construction. We're getting the last solar panel from the first set here. 225 plastic, wow. Okay, well, we will have enough for that sooner or later. Might take us a little bit. It's not that producing, is it? Good. Let's make sure that this stockpile is manned. So I'm deliberately letting the whole integrity drop a little bit to save alloy. Because the efficiency of the repairs gets higher, the lower the whole integrity is. And we can go down to like 50% without suffering any major penalties. Okay, I think we should have enough batteries in each sector now. It's just a matter of waiting for everything to charge. any plastic available out in the solar system? I don't think we do right now. Um, I wonder if we should get rid of the fire station and get another chemical plant. Got the people for it. room for the fire station is the problem. A little wall here that, or a road here that doesn't go anywhere. So I think we're going to empty this alloy stockpile and then we'll be able to build another polymer factory up here. Leave a gap there, did I know? Do we have enough iron income to sustain this level of production? I think we do. For now, at least. Um, let's turn down our iron requirements in sector one here.
I wish the transfer of resources between sectors was was either a little more intelligent or a little more automated. Like, um, I think there is an advanced mode though. Oh yeah, okay. We could try this. Let's look at this. So iron, iron in sector one has a minimum of zero. Oh, that's not what it, it's not helpful. Uh, okay, so there's no, it just has a desired amount in sectors. There's no like minimum and maximum thresholds. That's kind of annoying. Like having certain protectors, yeah. You would think the batteries would be able to provide that like a temporary relief from power overload, but seemingly not. Okay, our alloy is trending artistic liberties, yeah. Our alloy is trending upward again, that's good. Checking our housing again in sector six. We got about a hundred spaces left. We got our mushroom farm online. We have no waste being gathered right now. I think the farms produce, and the, these things produce enough waste to power one of these mushroom farms, probably. Um, I wonder if gathering waste from the other sectors will provide an efficiency gain um, for the factories. We could have a specialized recycling sector, that'd be cool. That could be worthwhile. Oh, actually, is it though? I don't know. It says recycling is a specialization, but I don't know how much we actually need it at this point. <laughs> but it is an option. Okay, we got that now, so we can dismantle this. Hopefully we don't need it. Uh, I think I'm actually going to build... Okay, we got five cycles, 4.8 4 cycles. We're st we still don't have enough battery in Sector 6. We need one more battery, I think. Uh, I guess we can put that back there behind this thing. This is going to be a waste. Be able to manage waste, right? Darn it, I forgot about that. We can't use these things because we don't have the technology. That sucks. Okay, well, this is just going to be there, taking up space for now because I don't want to rebuild it again. Um, battery, that's what I was going to build here. Too bad this mushroom thing is it one unit shorter because we could have um, bumped this up and then had it intersect with that road so I didn't have to have another road on this side. Though we do want to get rid of this insect farm eventually anyway, I think. Okay, we're actually slightly over producing our food uh, requirements, which is good. That's where we, that's exactly where we want to be. But we are going to need more production still when we go to um, bring more people on board. We still have zero people in here. That's a bit weird. Okay, we have the wallow bringing more people though. So it's just a matter of time. All right, now let's get our second polymer plant online. Just looking, I wonder if it would be worth it to have a... This is a factory specialization, so we could have it in the factory sector. 
bit of waste into 20 polymer. But we don't have that. We still don't have the technology to do it. So I'm gonna get another polymer refinery for now. Make sure we have enough people and enough power. We got enough people. I don't think we have enough power. Oh, it only takes five. Uh, we have that much actually. Yeah, we're getting back our alloy slowly. That's good. That's what I want to see. No connected stockpile has enough polymer. We need polymer in sector one. Don't really need a polymer in sectors. I guess we could use a little polymer in sector six, but we don't really, it's not that critical. So we can start moving polymer out of sector six to help with this. So nice that the electronics components take up so little storage. We could store these all day. Too bad you can't combine them with other storage types. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Docking bay accident, okay. I'll check out this uh, EVA airlock thing because it looks neat. Got all these little robots, little uh, EVA pods coming and going. The ones maintaining the station. What is it with you guys and your accidents? Come on. We need that carbon stockpile. Get it fixed. fields can this thing have? One more, only. Um, I'm gonna try placing this here. We'll see how whether we can build the fields the way we want to here. I think a little late on electronics components. I guess we've been building a lot of stuff. So by the time when Sector 6 is finished charging, then I think we'll be good to go. We should probably also wait for our solar panel construction to finish. It's going to be a little bit because we got to get enough plastic first. Um, we're still waiting on plastic production, it looks like, yeah. Let's um, take this down to zero so we can get the construction started. Of course, this might affect our power balance over here. We'll probably end up having to put another battery. Oh, we got 5.1 already, so that might be enough. Yeah, we get carbon and coming in again. That's good. EVA airlocks take a lot of power. I didn't realize that before.
Oh, well, integrity's at fifty percent. We gotta get one of these online again. Uh, so sixty-eight goes to eighty. We gotta be careful about bringing the polymer plant online, though. Um, okay, we have just enough for that. That's fine. Oh, god damn it! Forgot about the farm. Power restored. We didn't have an accident at that time. Thank God. Okay, this takes seven, so I'm gonna need to shut one of these down. And make this work. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can build while it's shut down. I'm just curious. Uh... Spacing does not work in my favor. We don't technically need this road, I guess. Or not this upper half of it, anyway. Oops. I got five fields out of that anyway. You're still at negative balance with who these running? Oh, because of the... Because of this. Shoot, I shouldn't have been letting the balance run down the whole time we were doing this. Can we pause this construction? We can. Looks like it's going to get done pretty quick though, so I'm not too worried about it. Hallucinating? What happened to the farm that was here? I must be hallucinating. Did I delete it? There was a farm that I built here, right? And I built a whole bunch of crops just now. I feel like that's some kind of ultra bizarre bug in the game that it just deleted a building that I just built for no apparent reason. I have to go back and rewatch that on the VOD. Caution. Hull integrity below 50%. Okay, yep. I will pause the solar panel construction for a little bit to get that sorted. Yeah, we're okay. Fortunately, we have the option to stop the solar panel construction for a while and just fix the hull. Are you saying yikes for that, or are you saying yikes because of the disappearing buildings? This is fine, yeah. It's fine. See, our, our, our hull, hull repairs are really efficient now because uh, our hull integrity is low. If I had enough power, I'd bring this one online too, then we get even more efficiency, but we do not. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. An accident in the infirmary? Don't do that to me. Why would you do that? Getting sucked into space is a pretty good motivator. Yeah, that's true. what happened. I clicked this to dismantle the crops instead of clicking that. That's why they disappeared. Click the wrong button. So it's user error.
Do I need this road going around here? It seems to be highly used, so I probably don't want to get rid of it, I think. But well, it might only be being used for this construction. Favorite Pepcat pep yet, for sure. Just use, hashtag just user things. Oh, we're at our power limit exactly. Wow. Mm. Okay. These fields take power. I want to shut this off for a while. We're doing an ice, by the way. 91, and yeah, we've got plenty of ice income. That's good. All right, we're up above. Can we get away with doing a little more solar panel? I think we can. Do it a little bit at a time. Oops. I don't know what that was. Oh, this was train station. Speeds up crew transfer between sectors. Also allows the expansion of some buildings influence all sectors. That's cool. I was thinking about the other that the other day. I was like, why can't we just have like a monorail that go takes people where they want to go? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Like, why does it take two days for somebody to walk from one sector to the other? These little transport things don't take two days. I guess I have to like move all other belongings and stuff. Can you ride them like the ones in Satisfactory? Sadly, no. I think this, I'm looking at this, I think these little tunnels up here are for the trains. That's gonna be cool to see. I'm looking forward to that, now that I actually know that that's a thing. I think it's gonna be much later though. Probably when we get at least like onto the third chapter. I'm almost done with the, yeah, I'm excited for that. We're doing on plastic. A little low on carbon. Our plastic slowly recovering. Let's get some plastic back in sector six. Maybe we can store like 90 plastic here. Let's do 95 even. Yeah, we're still producing people. Um, getting close to our population limits here. Okay, we got our new solar panel online. So we could bring this back on to increase our efficiency, I think. Not sure whether that saves us alloy in the long run or not. But I think we're gonna need to get this I and mean, we're not gonna need this anyway in order to move the ship, so. We're actually out of iron just about. We need to get more iron shipments. Uh I think we're good on silicon for now. Let's bring more iron in. They were good on silicon because we're empty, but we, we don't have as much demand for electronics as we do for alloy. We have eight electronic components already fabricated. Oh, we can bring this back online now. Our bonus food production back. You think about demolishing this and making one more field? I think we should do that.
Might be able to fit two more fields here, even. Um, I don't know how the spacing's gonna work out here. It's gonna be a little weird looking, but it's okay. I wonder... No, this isn't gonna work. I was wondering if we could move this to the end, maybe we could fit another field on the other side there, but this isn't... this space isn't wide enough. I think the next time I have a play through this game, I'm gonna try to make... try to figure out what the optimal efficiency is for the uh, farms in terms of spacing, now that i figured out how they all work. We might have to retool that later, we'll see. still have, well, we've absorbed like 300 people since we started this session, I think. the ship or should I try to finish her alloy stockpile first? Let's get let's wait till our hull integrity gets back up. I think as soon as our hull integrity tops off again at 800 or close to it, then we can move. Uh, let's also make sure we have enough power. We have barely enough power in sector one. We don't have enough power in sector six still. Um accident in sector one, okay. I guess we could demolish this and replace it with a battery, but I kind of don't want to do that. Uh, can we fit one in here? Yes, there we go. It's not connected to an active stockpile assigned to food. Not connected to an active stockpile assigned to alloy. I have the stockpile here. I don't understand what the issue is. Should be connected. This has to be bug. I don't know. The sick cream was no, they're just injured. Okay. Make sure nobody's working extra hours, we're good. Back up to 125 plastic units, that's pretty good. Just falling again. I think because we're out of, we ran out of iron. Yeah, we're not keeping up with demand. Okay. Um, we have two guys grabbing iron full time already. That's our ice supply, like 313.
Maybe we need Wallow to stop grabbing people for a bit and grab some iron instead. So I think we still need to keep the carbon coming in. And our home integrity is almost at full. Still don't quite have the battery situation sorted yet. Sector 6 battery is under construction. Sector 1. Now we can actually turn stuff off to conserve power if we need to. Oh, hold on. We got more space we can save here. We still got uh, apartments that are built using the old style. Let's do that. We should have done this the other way just for aesthetics, but I guess these are the other way on this side, so it doesn't really matter. Carbon coming on board. going to shut this off because it's not producing as efficiently. It's not sharing a bonus with the other airlocks, seemingly. And now we're just breaking even, which is fine. Because we're almost at full, just about. We can actually spin it down to one airlock if we wanted to, which might not be the worst idea, at least until we're ready to move the ship. Okay, so sector one is the only thing that doesn't have enough power currently. A little bit of homelessness in sector six. Okay. Let's stop producing people for now. What on earth? This person is calling me. Okay, all right. I guess I'd wrap the stream on, stream then. I want to say thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to follow uh, if you're watching on Twitch or subscribe. It's free if you're watching on YouTube. Um, have a good afternoon, and I will see you next time. Take care, folks.